We started the Stratford Men's Shed about 12 years ago and uh, we put out notices for anybody interested. We got 32 replies on the first day of our first meeting. There were 32 members turned up and uh, they all finished up joining. Over the years, they deteriorated. Yeah, we're down to about what have we got? Thirteen original members. Yep. Yeah. About thirteen. We've got two original members left out of the three. Three. Uh, so that's that's it. Here we are. And what did you used to do? But we stopped them from that. <laughs> so you get good banter here, dear, you? in yeah. your shed. Yes. And is that one of the main reasons why you come? Sorry? Is that one of the main reasons why you come for the banter? Yeah, he just annoyed the blokes. <laughs> he hasn't got his hearing aids in. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn them up. <laughs> oh, well. there like that and then you get the chisel not this chisel but uh, this chisel like that and you just start to round it off so all you round everything off so it's nice and round um, so pretty much comes up round like that from that and then you get the chisel and that's the end result Living sale, used to drive a rubbish truck, retired, come here for something to do and enjoy it. Yeah. Right, and what, what are you making now? I'm making a shelf for the backyard at home, under the patio. Wow, that's a nice chunk of wood. Yeah. Do you keep getting this bloody deal. Yeah, I keep saying, it's a good job from a truck driver. You spam on the Why? Because I'm a truck driver, not a carpenter, see? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ten. Ten, yeah. ten and dark. No. Right. And you're busy making these toys? Yep. For the Anglican Fair. Yeah. yeah. And what toys are they? The graders. We're making a grader at the moment. Right. Making the grader blades. The blade. Yep. The, work, the wheels we make out of blanks. There's a, yeah. Some, some wheels over here. They're half done. Still got, to, still got to do the other side, down to that size. Mm -hmm. So they're all wood turned? Yeah, on the, on the load here. Yeah. My name is Julie. I work for Overcoming Obstacles. We're registered with the National Disability Insurance Scheme and we support participants in environments such as this to learn life skills, find a new interest, meet new people. And, Very rewarding. And you've got two with you today. Yes, I do. I have John and Steve over with me today. And we'll go from here and we'll have some lunch and we'll probably go fishing. I'm Carl. I am the uh, inaugural secretary of this uh, establishment um, since day one. Um, got introduced to the place uh, by accident really. Um, the president since day one uh, sent out a pamphlet and I was interested in uh, men's sheds prior to that. But the pamphlet uh, sat on the table for a good month I reckon and then my wife um, reminded me that the meeting was tomorrow and I didn't uh, much of it really. I didn't think it would be a goer in Stratford 
and I turn up to the meeting and there's 40 blokes here. Why, why didn't you think it was going to be a goer in Stratford? Oh, there just didn't seem to be... Um, the men's shed movement took quite a while to, to establish. Um, I didn't know the pulling power of uh, Peter, the president. He, um, he'd obviously been around the traps and uh, spoken to people. And it was staggering the number of people that were there for a little town like this. So I, uh, I got on board. My name is Adrian Temple. And what do you do here? I am the cook and chief bottle washer. <laughs> is that a very responsible position? Well. It is, you've got to make sure that everything's clean for the lambs. You feed them up and have, have stuff on stock. And uh, when I want something, I'll just ask the committee, which I'm part of, and uh, I have no troubles in getting it. Uh, I have a, I went to a shed in uh, Lock, painting school. And they had, where I got the idea, they had a, uh, a person that uh, looked after their uh, morning teas mm. and so forth. And they had a, an oven. And I thought, well, that's not too bad. I think we better have an oven. So we got our little oven, which cost us about $375 at the time. And it's still going well. And... I bake scones, I bake muffins, I do, as you've seen, you had crumpets today. And we have a very lovely lady in Mafra that gives us morning tea every Friday, who I look after. Ah, Chris Gay. And what do you do, Chris, here? Here, hey, uh, treasurer. Have you done other jobs? Yeah, I've been president, health and safety officer. But you look after the money now. Unfortunately. <laughs> somebody, has to, somebody has to do it. So, uh, when did you come to the shed? I'd say about eight years ago. It wouldn't be any less. And it's been going 12 years? I'd say it's been uh, yeah. And what do you get from it? Oh, just satisfaction. A bit of camaraderie with the other bikes, you know, it gives you, it gives you, it gives you purpose. Yeah. And what do you think the community around here thinks of the shed? Oh, it's up there. What they think of it's up, up there. You know, That's high. Well, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because, Good. um, I mean, we did a uh, church fair here earlier this year and we gave away 190 toys to kids you know and it, 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 it gives us something to do and it it, 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 uh, it makes our standing in the community even better yeah so yeah. it's you know it's a lot of satisfaction